After a day of excruciating stomach cramps, Amy's boyfriend takes her to an urgent care clinic that is set up to deal with only the most routine medical problems. While nurses wait for an ambulance to take Amy five miles to the nearest hospital, she stuns them by suddenly giving birth to a baby in her pants. She had no epidural and no painkillers because she didn't even know she was pregnant. I had raised my leg up and the baby had fell down my pants leg and was stuck in my pants leg at the bottom. Oh my God! The nurses struggle to deal with the aftermath of a delivery they aren't trained or equipped to handle. All chaos broke loose. The nurses, one was fighting with the other one about, oh no, we need to do this. And the other one said, no, we need to do this. I mean, they were throwing stuff. I was just in a trance, more or less. I was staring up at the ceiling. I really couldn't believe it. I didn't think I could have kids. In the waiting room, Amy's boyfriend, Mark, has no idea what has happened when he hears the sudden commotion. I start realizing, hey, it's coming out from where she's at. So I get back in there. They're just like going berserk. The baby's breathing. Yes. I heard her say it was a baby. I still wasn't believing it. We never thought she could have kids. They got the baby out of my pants leg. And they're like, it's a girl. It just it makes your whole world stop. Dad, should I cut the cord? Mark cut the umbilical cord. Okay. You won't hurt anything. They made sure that I was okay. The one EMT wrapped the baby up and they rushed her to the ER. At the hospital, the baby goes straight to the NICU while doctors examine Amy to check for any complications. I thought it was my fault, you know, because I should have known I was pregnant. I didn't have any prenatal care, you know, I didn't exactly eat how you know a pregnant lady should have i was drinking mark is very worried about both amy and the baby as he waits for amy's mother to arrive mark met me at the emergency room entrance and he goes we have a baby we have a baby girl baby he said you're a grandmother i'm like what oh, i don't know anything i just started crying I had a thought of Amy being pregnant, it never crossed my mind. After doctors are satisfied that Amy is stable, they let her and Mark see the baby. At four pounds, 12 ounces, the full-term newborn is small, but her condition is stable. She needs to remain in the NICU to get her weight up, but Amy and Mark are allowed to hold her. At first, it felt like I was holding somebody else's baby. It really didn't feel like it was my baby. When I got the first hold, my baby, you could have knocked me over with a feather. I seen the beautiful eyes you ever saw. There's nothing else in this world like them. I named my daughter Whitley Nevaeh. I just always liked the name Whitley. Nevaeh, her middle name, it is heaven spelled backwards because she was a gift from God. Whitley gains strength in the hospital for two weeks, which gives Amy enough time to prepare for her homecoming. My mom rushed out about the car seat and, and the bassinet and just the necessities that I would need. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> when Amy and Mark look back, they see several symptoms of the surprise pregnancy. Probably I got pregnant around early March. I really didn't think I could have kids because my periods were irregular. Even though women who have irregular periods can experience an extremely difficult time getting pregnant, they are not infertile. This misconception of infertility can lead to unplanned pregnancies. I never thought Amy was pregnant at any time. She never changed. I never noticed Amy gain in weight. I saw Amy about once a week. You know, I couldn't tell. Today, Whitley Novea is a thriving and energetic three-month-old. She's a happy little baby. She wakes up with a smile on her face. She loves her mommy and her daddy. Amy's just an awesome mom. The motherly instinct just kicked in. Anytime the baby needs anything, she's right there. It feels great to see them two interact. We did smile. She never thought she could have children. Don't be fussy. Very special gift. Yeah. Feels good. Being a mom, I mean, I love it. Yeah. I say that's my baby now. That's my baby girl. Yeah.